Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you some meal planning inspiration and show you our latest grocery haul as well. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours Last year in 2020, for most of the year, we tried to do monthly meal planning and it worked out pretty well. It was definitely nice not to have to go to the store every week. It was taking up a large chunk of time to do that, both mentally trying to figure out like what meals we're gonna have and what we need and then physically being at the store as well back in 2019. So in 2020, we changed it up. We did monthly meal planning and it was nice because although we did have to go back for fresh produce and things like that, twice a month usually um, all of the bulk shopping was done all in one shot but enter COVID and the end of 2020 when we kind of were exposed to COVID we weren't sure if we had it or not we ended up not getting anything but we didn't want to go out obviously we kind of just wanted to stay in and make sure we didn't have anything and we did grocery pickup for the first time unfortunately Winco doesn't have grocery pickup so we did it from Walmart because it's comparable prices and fell in love with it and now don't plan on <laughs> changing it. We are still gonna be going to Winco for some things that they don't sell at Walmart that we really like, but for the most part, our grocery hauls are Walmart. Also, we have been eating much, much healthier. I've mentioned it in a few videos, but I've been reading the book Super Life by Darren Olean after watching the Down to Earth series on Netflix and it completely changed my mindset about what our cells need and I just really wanna fuel our bodies with what it needs and feel good about what we're putting in our bodies. So a lot has changed. So I figured I need to do an updated meal planning system and um, we happen to have a grocery haul as well. So let's jump right in and show you how I meal plan and then we will show you the groceries that we just got. Every Saturday when I am meal planning, I gather these supplies. So we've got our menu board with a wet erase marker, that way it doesn't get rubbed off by people walking by or me writing in new things. Our recipe book that I slowly am filling up with recipes that we love. A journal with my Parku erasable pens, these are amazing. If you're looking for erasable pens, I highly recommend. Uh, my planner and then my computer. So these are everything that I grab. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is look through my planner. I'm going to, I'm going to see what do we have going on this week, which because of COVID, it's really just dance classes at this point. So I'm going to see which days we have dance and which days I'm going to want to do maybe a crock pot meal or leftovers because we're going to be home a little bit later. And then I'm going to move on to the notebook. So let's get started with that. Now that I have a general idea which days I'm going to need quicker meals, I'm just going to write down the days of the week. So we have Sunday, Monday, I know right away that we are planning to eat out. We're trying to still support local businesses as much as we can. So we are planning to eat out um, Sunday and Saturday over down here. So I'm just going to fill in those with takeout and we just kind of pick what we feel like on that day to order. I know for sure that Wednesdays are just late days. So we are going to have white chicken chili and you can do this in the crock pot I usually have all of the ingredients in the instant pot ready to go and put it in the fridge that way when I get home I can just put it in the um, the casing of the instant pot and turn it on so that makes it really easy on Friday is leftovers kind of Thursday and Friday usually are leftover days one of the two so now I just need to fill in Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday, I have a little bit extra time to be able to prepare something. So we are going to do fajitas with a steamed corn. 
And then for Monday and Tuesday, I like to at least once a week, but to ideally find recipes that we haven't tried yet that are full of whole healthy, nutritious ingredients. So I'm going to now jump onto the computer and try to find a couple recipes that we can implement this week. Okay, these are the two recipes I found on the computer that we're going to add. One is just an Instant Pot chicken breast that I'm going to pair with some roasted potatoes. And then one is a black bean burger, which my sister has actually had too and said it's really good. So we're going to try that out this week. And I'm super excited for both of these. So now for the next step. Now that I know what we're having, I am just going to go through the recipes. Some of them are in my recipes binder, so I'm going to grab those ones. And then also, obviously, the two are online. So I'm just going to go through the recipes and write down all of the ingredients that I need, except for the ones I 100% know we have. And then we will move on to the next step. Okay, I've got my list ready so the next step is going to be to go into the pantry and the fridge and freezer and cross off anything that I do have from this list. I'm going to add in things that we need just staples like milk and eggs and breakfast stuff, yeah. lunch stuff that we kind of just keep the same day to day. And then I'm going to type all of these in and add them to my Walmart grocery pickup order cart and place the order and it's as simple as that. Alright, starting off with the thing I'm most excited about is we got a Ninja Blender. We have been using an old Oster, Oster blender, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it um, does the job fine when we're making salsa and stuff, but if we have anything thicker like smoothies or my guac that I like to make, it just doesn't cut it. And my sister and brother-in-law have one of these. I fell in love with it. And with that also, I'm also going to be drinking Shakeology every day. I have some samples that I'm gonna try and find some recipes that I like. So this will be really nice to have for that because it's super easy to clean as well. So we got that. We needed a few products that are non-edible, obviously. Scrubbing bubbles for the toilets. Our toilet, we have hard water and they just get so stained up that it's just frustrating. So we're gonna try some of these so that we can maybe extend the time between when we have to clean. And then we needed hand soap. I'm completely out in all except for one bathroom and they didn't have any of the big refills we normally get. So I just got a random assortment of soaps for around the house. The only bread product we got this time are these English muffins. I like to make breakfast sandwiches out of those occasionally. And then beans. We have been eating so many beans. They're so good for you. White beans, kidney beans, black beans. I want to try to get into buying the dried ones and soaking them. I know cooking them in the Instant Pot's pretty easy, so I'm definitely going to try that in the near future. But for now, we just use canned. I got three things of natural butter. The girls love having toast with butter and a little cinnamon on it. And then I got some pasta sauce. This is the one I prefer. And this red lentil pasta. My sister said it's really good. I wanted to try it out. So we got a box of that. And then I just ran out of oregano. We've been using a lot of our spices. So I needed more of that. These are a guilty pleasure of mine. Turkey cheddar. And they rarely have them. But when they do, I like to grab them. So that's something that I wanted to get for myself. Peanut butter, we go through this like crazy. Um, I want to find a more natural option. But I just... All of the ones I've tried so far just taste gritty and I'm a big texture person so so far nothing has beat this. Let me know if you have any good natural peanut butters that are not gritty. Um, ranch, the girls use this for their carrots and Bailey also likes this on her turkey sandwiches instead of mayo or anything else. I got a pizza for the girls to have for lunch and dinner so they'll have it for dinner one night and then leftovers for lunch or vice versa. And then we tried these last time and we really liked them these roasted, honey roasted sweet corn steamer bags. 
and they were really, really good. And we paired them with either um, turkey burgers or enchiladas, I think is what we paired them with last time, but those are delicious. For meats, I got ground turkey and two things of bacon. We got the hickory smoked bacon. Um, and then the rest is all produce. We did get toilet paper as well, which is in the bathrooms already, but we got two things of strawberries, these little grape tomatoes, Quinn loves tomatoes, two bags of baby carrots for snacks. We got a big bag of pears. We go through those like crazy. We have four sweet onions, three red onions, which I never usually get red onions, but I'm trying to give our diet a little bit of variety, even with different species of fruits and vegetables, they all carry different nutrients. So I got red as well this time. Four cucumbers, this is a favorite for all of us. Five bell peppers for different recipes. One of them is fajitas. Two bags of apples. Um, Quinn and I like the sweeter Fuji apples. These are three pound bags. And then Anthony and Bailey like the kind of more sour Granny Smith ones. I got three zucchini like to chop these up and roast them with other veggies, um, jalapenos to make salsa with, limes and tomatoes for my guac, and then lemon for just seasoning, like baked chicken or whatever, and then one for salsa. And then we have four big oranges, Brussels sprouts, which I'm gonna try a garlic recipe, avocados also for the guac, a bag of green beans, a bag of broccoli, and then two heads of lettuce. I like to mix this in with the salad that I use because I like this lettuce better, but it's not, like there's really no nutrition to it. So I mix that in with the salad that I use. And that is our grocery haul. And I feel like every grocery haul I do gets healthier and healthier, which means we are on the right track and I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you some good ideas and inspiration. If it did, make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment down below, maybe with some recipe ideas that we can all read over and share for when we are making our own meal plans. But for now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and I will see you next time. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I wanna drive with you.